This morning in Talking Tech, the trends that you will soon be scrolling through in 2020. Here now with her expert advice, social media input, is Megan Rothschild, president of Chick Media. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Is there a vice president of Chick Media? Uh, not yet, but maybe someday. Would you, are you, would you like to apply? Throwing it out there. <laughs> <laughs> but that, your resume. that's not why we're here. Uh, let's get right to it here. It's New Year. People yes. are looking to up their social media game, and there are lots of new trends and lots of new things we can take advantage of. Yes, absolutely. So first and foremost, we're going to see a big push for authenticity on social media. So if you are a brand that's on there and you've been doing a lot of those sales pitch, you know, like sales and promotions, there's a big push for people who want to see engagement with the audience that's a little bit more authentic than that, more meaningful. Absolutely. So this is not with respect to maybe a, a false account or someone presuming to be someone else. Oh, but that's also a really great point. But no, we're talking mostly about brands that are really pushing out. If every single post you make is about a sale you're having or buy this, buy this, it's not going to sit well with people. They right. want to see more storytelling on your account. That's right, because people love following their favorites and things like that. And if you can make it a fun experience, they're going to want to come back again and again. Exactly. That's the whole point. And you want that brand loyalty, and that's how people get that. All right. So you have some great examples here. We're going to start with yes. on Instagram, the cocktail writer. What do we yes. need to know about this so account? So Matt is local. He is a cocktail expert. He's also a content producer. So he's doing a really good job with Instagram stories. Right. So we're going to pull up some of those. A lot of people yes. see the circle right here. And yeah. if you click on that. That means he's populated stories. So Matt right. does a great job. Everything he does looks really curated and very intentional. He's great about featuring local brands, but also promoting himself at the same time. Yeah. And Instagram stories are becoming way more, I would say that they are more important than the posts right now. So we used to be big pushing on posts. Now we're seeing more people gravitate towards the stories. We're seeing more eyeballs there. So they have become even more from a marketing perspective, more important. Yeah, I found that many more eyeballs go to the story sometimes than the actual post. And that's why you see a lot of people sharing their post and saying new post. Right. right? So people are like, what are you doing? And it's it's literally just to get eyeballs to your account. It absolutely is. It is it, it, about being in front of the audience. Yes. And you have another good one here, flirting with 50. Yeah, so Karen does a great job. She is what we call an influencer on social media. So influencer marketing is not going anywhere. Um, if you are a company that has not engaged in this type of marketing yet, this is, this is going to be a big push in 2020. So we were a little hesitant as marketers when this first came out, um, if people thought this was authentic. But basically, this is when someone who has a decent amount of following uh, on social media pushes out endorsements for brands, but they do it in a way that's, it, a lot of these influencers have integrity, right? So they're yeah. not just taking a paycheck. They're doing it because they actually care or stand by the brand. And so, Karen's an example of that. Uh, something I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> so you could be an influencer for any brand. <laughs> you know, all joking aside, she's doing a great job because I can't tell you the number of people who say to me, oh, I saw so-and-so wearing this uh, top or this exactly. coat and they love it and they want to grab it. For yeah, themselves. and that's her niche. That's the other thing with influencer marketing. If you're looking to get into that scene, you have to pick a topic that you want to be known for. Karen's is obviously fashion. Yeah. Um, so fashion and style is really her focus. But if you want to do that, pick something that you yeah. know you have a passion about. All right. And let's talk about TikTok. I've heard a lot of good things about this. We'll move yes. to their page. It's uh, real people, real videos, as it says. How are people repurposing their content here? Yeah. So I will call, I'd like to give a little asterisk here. If you have not mastered Instagram or Facebook for marketing, <laughs> do not jump into TikTok, right? <laughs> so we want to see you doing a good job on Instagram um, right. and some of the other platforms. But basically, I'm still even learning this platform. It's watching people do, in some cases, silly things. Uh, this like, would be perfect for me. <laughs> yes, actually, this would be <laughs> ideal for you. But the other thing is you can actually buy advertising within this app. But again, we don't want to be jumping into that unless we've mastered some of the other social media I like how the screen first. is just flat. Anyone tuning in is getting vertigo watching the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It is very it's very fast-paced. And if you don't know how to navigate the, uh, the, the app yet, take your time sort of getting to learn it. Yes, as you saw from uh, TikTok to one of my favorites, Tic Tacs. I, you know, when you no. brought those out, I was like, oh, do I have coffee breath? <laughs> <laughs> I remember they were right on here, and I said, oh, Perfect. I'll know what I do. But it's all about that user-generated content, having fun. Yeah, so that's the other thing. That's, I would say, the final trend for 2020 is if you should not be going on there talking about yourself over and over again. If you are a brand, have other people give testimonials and repurpose their content. So okay. if someone's tagging you, reshare it, repost it, make that user engagement really meaningful. Outstanding, Megan. Thank you, as always. Yeah, Great to see me. you. If you guys would like to review any of the advice from Megan and Chick Media, of course, I'm the future VP. How could we forget that? as well as other talking tech segments, just head on over to roadshow.com.